Okay, good morning everyone. Today is Saturday, April 6, 2024. Uh, it is a beautiful bluebird day. You can hear the birds chirping. It's actually a little cold. It's only like 10 degrees this morning at 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, as you just saw, the skid, skid, skid steer just came in and gave us a little finishing touches on the driveway. Um, this video is a day behind. This part is because I lost the footage for some reason on my first shoot uh, yesterday or the day before. We did have a big, pretty significant storm come in. Uh, my jinx of my last video of it being the end of winter uh, caught up to me there. <clears throat> so we got about a foot, maybe a foot and a half total in 24 hours. Uh, storm came in and blowing really hard, blizzard-like conditions, nothing like a blizzard in April. Uh, at any rate, we took a little tour of the town, a lot of snow blowing, uh, quick shots, uh, people stuck, buses stuck on the road. I couldn't mount the GoPro to my truck because everything was frozen. I mean, this came in, it was like 50 degrees one day, and then 12 hours later, it was in the teens and everything was frozen. So, uh, yeah, in the meantime, uh, you can see the wife's new car, so that's why in this video... You will see my truck out buried in snow. Same as the last video, we had to get rid of the Lexus that was damaged last year because the insurance company won't let us get any more insurance on it to protect our family. So we'll be selling that car next. In the meantime, the wife couldn't wait, obviously, because we have kids and activities and work and have lives to live. So we had to get a new car, and then we'll be selling the. <clears throat> excuse me. Then we'll be selling the Lexus. Sorry, I'm a little, a little tired today. It's been a long 24 hours, 36 hours. But in the meantime, it's a beautiful day. It is supposed to warm up and possibly reach the 60s in the next couple of days, which is hard to believe considering, like I said, it's 10 degrees. I think it was like 6 this morning or overnight. Uh, but yeah, at any rate, enough of me babbling. On to, we're going to do some time traveling here with, through the magic of editing, and you guys will see what we had to deal with uh, yesterday. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the video. Next morning, it is still snowing. We got about a foot over a foot of snow overnight. Uh, as you can see, the truck is out there and buried. Wife's new car is in the garage. The old car is under the deck. And uh, yeah, we got kind of lucky here. The town came through early and the plow service came, but of course, the truck's in the way, so only half the driveway got done. Not a big deal. We'll have to do it the other half later when we get home from dropping kids off at school and opening up the restaurant and all kinds of stuff. But uh, in the meantime, let's get this truck uncovered. We'll strap the GoPro on to the front of the truck again and we'll drive down into town, see how things are going, and uh, then come back and move the rest of this snow, hopefully for the last time. All right, let's keep at it.
right, we got a break in the weather here. We're down in the airport. As you can see, it's kind of like the eye of a hurricane. But apparently, the storm is moving out. They're not really calling for anything more, but it's still snow in the town. So uh, I don't think they have the right forecast. At any rate, at least the plane landed down here. And we're going to take a break from shoveling and we're going to go run this dog. What do you think, Ren? You ready? Let's go for a run, huh? There you go. All right. Let's go for a run and then check back on the house. Alright, and here we have Bus Driver of the Year Award going to this guy who didn't follow the chain up signs. Whoops. Oh, he didn't seem hurt, except his pride. Follow the signs, put the chains on. Unless you have one of these. Alright, we are back home after that little adventure. Uh, a little kind of break in the weather here, although there's more storm clouds over there. We are now tasked with cleaning up the rest of this driveway here. And then we got to work on the decks. And I might have to do this garage roof uh, because you can see there's no more room for the snow to slide. So we're kind of maxed out. Uh, it's not that much snow on there, but the problem I have is I still don't have the new metal roof on there. So it is just the the uh, waterproofing membrane on the roof. I don't really want to get that damaged. Uh, so we'll see if I'm gonna tackle that or not. Um, I guess worst case, I could always buy a new roll and redo it in a couple weeks when it's warm out again and it's done officially done snowing. Uh, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. All right, well, let's fire this bad boy up and let's move some snow. at the house sun's peeking out again even though the wind's blowing up uh, but as you can see we got some asphalt showing on the driveway got everything dug out everything's good i did knock some snow down on the roof there to help uh next i'm gonna have to chop along the line there so the rest can slide off and kind of push against the garage but at any rate that might do it for this video 
Uh, it's been a very interesting day with a lot of snow, a lot of wind, a lot of crazy drivers, a lot of stupidity, but uh, that happens here in the Sierras. Tonight, it is supposed to get down to five or six degrees, maybe eight degrees they're calling for. And then hopefully, not to jinx it again, but hopefully this is the end of winter here because they're saying by Tuesday, it's gonna be 60 degrees. So we could have a uh, opposite problem this time next week. We could have all this snow melting in a hurry and a lot of water. So fingers crossed. Uh, but once again, that's life here in the Eastern Sierra. All right, guys, thanks for watching. More content to come.